we're going to be looking at voltage or potential difference and electrical energy transferred. Voltage is the electrical energy transferred per unit charge as the charge moves between two points in a circuit. You can also consider it to be the electrical work done per unit charge. If we consider this circuit where you have a cell being connected to a light bulb, well, the cell is providing what we say is an EMF, electromotive force, which is a voltage, potential difference, as it is giving each unit charge electrical energy. So this is representing, this voltage is representing the electrical energy gained per unit charge as it moves through the power supply. And the energy transformation taking place in this cell would be from chemical energy to electrical energy. We now consider the voltage or potential difference across the lamp. We'll say it is representing the electrical energy lost per unit charge as the charge moves between the lamp. The energy transformation occurring in the lamp is from electrical to light and heat energy. So the cell gives each unit charge electrical energy so that it can move around the circuit and as the charge moves around the circuit and goes through a component it loses that electrical energy. So the equation for voltage comes from its definition so that is it's equal to the electrical energy transferred per unit charge. And from this definition, we can get the definition of the unit of voltage, which is in volts. So one volt is equal to the unit of electrical energy transferred, which is a joule, divided by the unit of charge, which is a coulomb. So one volt equals one joule per coulomb. So one volt is the voltage or potential difference when one joule of electrical energy is transferred per coulomb of charge. So with a charge moving from one point in a circuit to another point in its circuit, it's transferring electrical energy. And from the definition of voltage, we can say the electrical energy transferred is equal to the charge times the voltage. And if you remember the definition of current, which is the rate of flow of charge, we can say our flow of charge is equal to the current times the time it is flowing for. So if we substitute this equation for Q into our electrical energy transferred equation, we will get the electrical energy transferred is equal to ITV, our current times the time times the voltage. When using this equation, we need to make sure all our quantities are in SI units. So our current is in amperes, our time is in seconds, and our voltage is in volts. So that that will give us the unit of electrical energy transferred in joules. A more practical way of measuring electrical energy transferred is to use the kilowatt hour. So we have kilowatt hour is equal to the power which is in kilowatt times the time in hours. So when we times the power and time together we get our kilowatt hours. And you need to know the definition of kilowatt hours. So that is the energy transferred by a one kilowatt device. So that's a 1000 watt device for one hour. So one kilowatt hour equals one kilowatt times by one hour. And one kilowatt is a thousand watts and one hour is 3,600 seconds, that's 
60 seconds times 60 minutes make an hour. That equals 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. That is 3.6 megajoules. So 1 kilowatt hour equals 3.6 megajoules. And finally, you need to know how the cost of electricity is determined. So here is showing you an electrical meter and you can see the numbers is representing how much kilowatt hours of electrical energy has been used. And here on the right is an electricity bill. And if we focus on how the cost of electricity is being determined, so to work out how much kilowatt hours have been used, you look at your previous reading and then the present reading and look at the difference. So that's how much electrical energy that has been used. To determine the cost of electricity, you then need to know the cost per kilowatt hour or the unit cost, which in this case is 6.2 pence per kilowatt hour of electrical energy used. So to determine the cost of electricity, we will take the number of units of energy used, our kilowatt hours, and times it by the unit cost, which is in usually in pence per kilowatt hour.